Hey guys, and welcome back for this beginner's tutorial on this very simple eye. I created this eye using my Butterfly Kisses palette, The Naturals. It looks like this. And remember guys, these palette is on my website. You get two palettes, it's a duo set, a colorful and a natural for only $35. You can hit up our website at www.brownbeautifulcosmetics.com. In this video, I'm gonna show you the products that I use, the tools that I use, and the techniques I use in order to create this simple eye that you can carry it over to other colors. If you wanna go all matte, if you just wanna totally switch up the colors, you can do that by using these techniques and by using uh, those Born Beautiful Butterfly Kisses palettes because you get a variety of colors, you get shimmers, and you get mattes. So guys, um, you already know what to do if you like this look and you want to see how I got it. So, oh, but before I go, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you hit that notification bell so that you never miss any of our videos. Thanks, my bougie babies. Okay guys, to get started, I'm coming in with NYX, a white base and a real technique fluffy brush. I'm gonna take this base and put it all over my lid in any areas that I'm going to apply eyeshadow to. This is gonna allow my colors to stay and it's going to allow them to pop even more than they already would without the base. So I'm creating a lighter background so that when I lay down the shadows, it's gonna make them stand out even more. And I'm just gonna evenly distribute it with this on my lid using pattern motions until I get it in all the areas that I want it to be in. <laughs> Next, we're going to take this large head wet and well brush and we're going to take the white from the Butterfly Kisses palette and using pattern motions, I'm going to tap it all over the areas where I applied that white base. This is going to prevent our shadows from creasing and you just want to make sure you get it evenly distributed and around the edges, you see me just kind of feathering out where that line is to make sure that we don't have any harsh lines when we lay down our eyeshadows or the rest of our eyeshadows. Once we have a nice even lid, next we're going to take a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to take that brown out of the Butterfly Kisses palette and once again using patting motions I'm going to pat it all over the crease and just a little bit above to the brow bone with this color. Now in this, we're only using three shadows and we're gonna build this color up until we get it to the intensity that we want it. Now I'm using this brown color, but like I said, you'll be able to switch it up, use whatever color you feel comfortable using because once you get the technique, you're good. So you'll see me using pad motions and then kind of feathering it out uh, around the edges so that we don't have any harsh lines because when it's going up to the brow bone, you don't want to have any harsh lines. But just keep building that color until you get it exactly the way that you want it. And keep it in the area that you want it in. This fluffy blending brush is going to allow us to distribute the color the way we need to in an area like this on our eye. Now we're going to take a large head eyeshadow brush and using that shimmer from the palette I'm just going to pat this color all over the lid area up until we get to that brown color that we laid down first and all I'm doing is just patting the color in I'm patting and you'll see me going back and forth between the two brushes that I use from the crease to the eyeshadow brush to make sure that that blend when those two colors meet you want to make sure that they are blended 
together flawlessly and the blend is going to be one of the main things we concentrate on when we are trying to make our eyeshadows look good because the difference between a blended eye and an unblended eye makes all the difference in the world when it comes to the um you know how good your eyeshadows come out okay so now i'm gonna take a blending brush this is a more dense blending brush this is from the elf line i'm taking the black from that um butterfly kisses palette and i'm gonna put it right in the corner creating a v in the corner of my eye and i'm just going to work that v back and forth but i'm gonna stay only in that v the outer corner of my eye and i don't want it to be too dark but i do want to deepen it in some just to give my eye a little bit more dimension we could have left it as it was at first daytime now this is a good way to turn your eye from a day to night look if you want to you know add a little black maybe for a cocktail hour or for some evening event this makes it a little bit more um nighttime glamish if you um if you want to say but all i'm doing is just working that color and you can make it as intense as you want i didn't want it to be that intense because you want to make sure that you blend out whatever color that you lay down and so the more that you put the more blend that you need to make sure that you just work out and use that same blending brush because this allows you to distribute the area in the distinct area that you want it to be in Next, I'm gonna take my e.l.f. liquid liner and start it in the inner corner. I am going to create a simple line going all the way across. I like to use stroking motions that helps me to allow, that allows me to create the even line that I want and to be able to go back and fill in areas that um, are not as straight. <laughs> Next, I'm taking a tapered blending brush and using that brown, the very first color that we used on the eye, I am going to take and just spread it all over my lower lash line. This just helps to create a more complete, completed looking eye look. Next, I'm going to take a black eyeliner and just apply it to my waterline. If you want your eyes to have a more open look, you want to use a lighter or a white liner for this but I like to use uh, black most of the time. Next, I'm gonna take my mascara and apply it to my lower lash lashes. Um, yeah, pretty self-explanatory. And uh, I didn't show it on camera, but I did apply lashes. And this is my final look. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you can take some of the techniques and tools that I have uh, listed and are able to create uh, some wonderful looks for yourself. Thanks again, my bougie baby.